Hey, everybody, and we hope that you had a merry, merry Christmas. And uh, we are, you know, excited to join you in this little interim time. This is Doable Discipleship, uh, a Saddleback Church podcast designed to help you deepen your faith. Or as Brandon in his Carolina Panther sweatshirt is going to uh, tell you. The show that helps you grow. That's right. That's right. How's that? Uh, you know what? That was pretty good. That was pretty good. I thought you were going to um, say Carolina accent, and I was like, don't do this to me. Man. You don't have a Carolina accent. I don't. I thought you were going to try to make me do a Southern accent. Car- oh, no. I, I, I would not put you on the spot like that. Thank Maybe you. at some point, no. That, and now that you've given me the idea, <laughs> giving you that we'll do that at some point. Although we want to retain <laughs> our audience, not make yeah. people, you know... Yeah, um, unsubscribe. Right. So, uh, speaking of subscribing, guys, if you haven't yet, we encourage you check it out. Hit that subscribe button on the um, on YouTube if you're watching on YouTube, or um, hit that follow or subscribe button on your podcasting app, and give us a rating or review. We always love to hear your reviews or or see the ratings come in. That's awesome. Um, so, what we're gonna do today friends is basically just say hey just chat a little bit and then we went to talk a little bit about about the highlights from this year this year uh hasn't been easy it's been quite different than what i think probably anybody expected um i know it was different than than i anticipated um we've done things a lot differently this year we did christmas very different this year than normal and um Mm -hmm. that's just kind of the way that it's been but what's been great is that we've still been able to have these conversations every week and to put stuff out and to be talking with you guys. And the fact of the matter is that God is still working. God has still been at work. There has still been um, amazing things that have come out of this year, things that would have never happened had, had things gone differently. And um, as Pastor Rick has liked to say um, throughout this year is that none of this was a surprise to God. He wasn't caught off guard He's not behind the eight ball in anything. He uh, he knew that this was going to happen, and he um, has still been at work. God is still who he is. And um, Amen. we just got to celebrate that again at, at this Christmas. We just finished the Advent series, and we got to celebrate what, you know, that Jesus is alive, that Jesus is here, that Jesus is king. And that Jesus has come to save us. And that is true no matter what is going on in the world. Um, So, Brandon, is there anything that that you wanted to share about this season? And then we'll kind of get into some of our little highlights. In terms of the Christmas season? Yeah, just in terms of, you know, encouragement, reminder, you know, all that all that fun stuff. Yeah, well, I I think you're kind of just hitting on it. 2020 year that nobody expected, obviously, and we are so close to being going into 2021. And I think when I think about 2020 and just the change across globally, across the board that everybody felt, I'm kind of, you know, I, I don't want to say I'm anxious to get to 2021, but I'm, I feel a little bit better going into 2021. Like I feel a little bit more confident in myself. I feel a little bit more confident in us. Um, in the, in the sense of like, we can take on so much. We've been through so much. Um, I'm excited to see what 2021 holds. And I think I have a little bit less fear, uh, going into it because of the struggle of 2020. So I don't know if that's encouragement. I, I would just, I think if you kind of just go month by month and take a look at the the last 12 months, January 2020 feels like it was four or five years ago. <laughs> a whole now. different lifetime. Yeah. A whole, it really does feel like a whole different lifetime. But if you kind of just track of like where you've been January, February, March, on and on until now, December 29th, I think you'll be surprised at how much you've come through. Um, you know, when you're in the moment, it doesn't feel like you're, you're, li- you're living day by day, but when you take a step back and look at the year as a whole year in review, you see, man, I, we did a lot this year, a lot changed this year and we're okay. Um, God's still with us. God still loves us. 
we're, we're okay, we're gonna be okay. And I think that can give us uh, some hope and encouragement going into 2021. Totally, I completely agree. Um, okay, so let's talk about some highlights. We talked about what is a, a highlight for you from the show this year, from Doable Discipleship? What is something that, that stands out to you uh, from what we talked about this year? Um, hi, okay, highlights. It, it is a specific episode. So oh. I kind of have two. Um, the first was when we started, I think it was back in, might've been June when we did Race in the Gospel. Um, I got to do a podcast episode with my wife. You, you I think you were out on the baby episode duty. that I was not on. Yeah. Great. <laughs> Yeah, it wasn't personal. Um, all of the highlights, all the ones I didn't have to do with you. No, I'm kidding. Um, yeah, but that was really cool to like, to, to do an episode with my wife. You know, she will listen from time to time and she'll, but it was cool to kind of bring her into my world a little bit. Um, and we get to talk through something that's close to our hearts. And then also getting to do an episode with my dad as well. Um mm-hmm. That was that was cool. You know, my my dad has done radio work since two thousand one, I believe. Um, so he's always talking. He does uh, it, out in Charlotte, North Carolina. He does like a, a morning, a variety show called Charlotte yeah. Today. Um, so I've always kind of pictured him as like, yeah, Dad, you talk and do all the stuff, and you you've always done that. Um, you're the talker, but it was cool to do a podcast episode with him. Um, you know, and he's kind of asking me like, what, what, what should I be prepared for? I'm like, you do a live TV show every day. <laughs> You're fine. <Yeah. laughs> you can do this. Um, but that was kind of a cool, cool moment for me to like, Oh man, I'm on a podcast with my dad who in my mind, he's always the one doing the talking and I'm not. Um, mm-hmm. So that was a highlight. And I just really, enjoyed that series and i think um i got to talk to amanda amanda shout out to you if you're listening uh we served together in light of the world a few weeks back um she's a listener and we were talking about this series and she said you know in a place where where we were as a country and where we, we still are as a country in many respects we i was glad that my church was saying something i was glad that my church was tackling the issue, was talking about it. Um, And I thought to myself, you know what? Like, yeah, I'm glad I got to be a part of that. I'm glad that's a highlight for me. I'm glad we got to lend our voice to the conversation, hopefully shed some good gospel centered light on it and offer uh, some great thinking points, some great doable points, but just a, a different way of thinking about it, a different way, trying to kind of lift it out of just politics um because i don't think politics is the only way we can have a conversation about yeah our country and race um so that was that was a highlight for me what about you what about you jason yeah i think you know as i look back on on this year again i'm doing this by memory i i think we had like five major series that we went through we started the year talking about different areas of health and kind of t- taking next steps in different areas of of personal health. And then we uh, did our spiritual antidotes series. And we did the time series, the race and the gospel series in the politics mm-hmm. and the church series. And there's two things that really stand out to me. Um, one is just, I, I, well, I guess it's really one thing. I was combining two things. I'm, I'm combining two things. It's one thing oh. is I, I is I've just loved and appreciated this year that we've, been able to um, kind of step in and step up when things are happening in a timely manner and we can have conversations about it. Right. So that kind of started with that spiritual antidote series is we saw when COVID first started impacting things and things started closing. um, Pastor Rick did, did a message on, walking through the valley of virus or something. I think it was, mm-hmm. was what it was called. Yeah. yeah, that's what it was called. And we were in the audio of that. And then we were like, you know, I think we really need to speak to people in this time and piggyback on what Rick said, but then, you know, kind of lay some framework 
for knowing that things are going to be okay. And it's just crazy to look back, you know, that was back in March. And so to look back, you know, nine months later, (laughs) but everything that we talked about, you know, spiritual antidotes of hope and of love and community and lament and all those things that we talked about are still so true. And, um, um, I, I just particularly loved that we were able to do that for that series. And then fast forward to the race and the gospel series and the politics and the church series, and just being able to, to talk about these topics that aren't always comfortable to talk about sure, and yeah. aren't easy and being able to frame it. Oh, we did the, is, is this okay to ask series too? Um, yeah. So yeah, I, I, that one in there too, all about yeah, these topics. Heavy so, year. <laughs> it was, it was a, a heavy, heavy year. Podcast. We, but, had, we talked about a lot of heavy things. And I particularly appreciate about them that they were, our goal in it was trying to demonstrate that you can have conversations about hard topics, uneasy topics, topics that you may not normally talk about, but that you can do so in a a Christ-centered, love-focused way. And that was one of the big takeaways was empathy, you know, was just the idea of knowing that you have a viewpoint or you have thoughts or opinions, but so does the person you're talking with. And you should show them love and empathy by listening to them. I think that was kind of a common thread throughout almost everything that we talked about was the idea of stop talking and just listen and, and listen to their heart. You You may not agree entirely, but listen to where they are coming from, right? Um, And knowing that we all come from a common ground place of being image bearers. That was kind of a theme throughout all this too. Mm. Um, So those are the kind of the things that really stuck out to me about this year. And I'm just so glad that we were able to, you know, have this space to address things as they come up and talk about things as they come up. So um, thank you who are listening for, you know, being interested enough to, you know, say that you want to hear these type of things. Uh, I I think that's shown. And so I'm just glad that we've been able to provide that. Um, Brandon, what is a highlight in your personal life this year? So, you know, we talked about the podcast, but what's something personally that stands out to you about, about 2020? Yeah. Um, I spent a majority of the year in North Carolina. Um, you did. I was not in California. Um, you, you know, when we, <clears throat> things shut down for, uh, COVID in March, um, around, we did like March and April here in California. And then my wife and I, we thought, Hey, why don't we, why don't we like go back to North Carolina for a few weeks for those listening? If you don't know, I'm from North Carolina and so is my wife and our families are both there. Um, it was like, yeah, that'd be fun. Maybe we'll do like two or three weeks and then things will open back up and go back to normal and we'll, we'll come back. Um, but then things didn't open back up and things, and the pages on the calendar just kept turning <laughs> and things didn't go back to normal. And I realized, you know what, as of right now to do my job, I just need Wi-Fi. Like I can really do it from anywhere in the world. I just have to account for the time zone difference. Um, so we ended up spending four months in, out there on the East coast. And it was just uh, having the opportunity to be around to stay in my parents' home again and to be around family and to be around her family um, and to get to spend really good quality time that we won't be able to do again. Like it it really is a once in a lifetime moment. I remember my dad, we were playing golf actually. And he said to me, he was like, isn't this nice? Like we'll never be able to do this again. Like you'll never be here for four months (laughs) and we won't be able to do this. And I thought to myself, you're right. This is a really a once in a lifetime opportunity. Like this, Hopefully we're not, uh, we're out of the pandemic business and, yeah. <laughs> uh, these things will be, won't be possible. Um, but while they were, I was glad I was able to take advantage of that and to spend time 
extend, spend extended time with my family, with my dog, um, and just have a, some really good quality family time that was in January was completely unexpected. It was like, yeah, I'll see you guys for Christmas next year. Um, so to have that opportunity, um, was a huge blessing and highlight for me. What about you? That's cool. Uh, yeah, for me, I mean, I would be completely remiss if my highlight of the year wasn't my daughter being born. That's kind of the uh, big obvious one. So, uh, yeah, that was just, it was interesting having a baby in the middle of a pandemic and in some ways it was normal, but in, in many ways it wasn't, we, we still have family members who have really have never gotten to meet her yet. Yeah. And that's just kind of the way that it is, unfortunately right now. Yeah. And so, uh, we look forward to the time where things can get a little more back to normal and we can spend more time with family and, you know, with, with all the hugs and kisses and everything that sure. comes with that. But, um, yeah, just, I think, as you said, having the time at home, being able to work from home and, you know, be here with the kids, not have to make all the drives all the time, but, and, uh, yeah, I, I'm just, I'm grateful for that. Being able to watch my boy grow from being one and a half to two and a half. Yeah. And, uh, you know, a that's a big change. In there. <laughs> There's a lot of stuff. He's a nonstop chatterbox now. Uh-huh. <laughs> Yeah. And, um, and, and, and then of course, Amy growing up and being six months old now. So, uh, that's definitely a highlight of the year. I don't look back on this year as being, you know, awful, but I look back on it as saying, Hey, that, that's the year my daughter was born. And it was the time that she was born. We'll always remember what was going on when she sure. was born. So friends, first of all, we want to acknowledge and understand that, that, for you, this may have been just a terrible year. And we totally understand that everybody who is listening right now is coming into this year from a different place and having gone through different things. So, um, in a moment, we're going to pray, uh, about this year and pray a blessing on next year. But we do want to hear from you. We do want to hear from you. So, we would love to hear from you. Is there something about about the show, about Doable Discipleship that stuck out to you this year? Is there an episode or a conversation or a thought or something? Maybe, maybe it was a whole series that stood out to you this year. We'd love to hear that from you. If you could uh, definitely put it in the comments if you're on YouTube or write to us at, at maturity at saddleback.com. Um, would be great. Also, even if you if you like to, feel free to share a personal highlight too. What yeah. is something from this year that stands out to you personally? And of course, as always, if you have any prayer requests, um, please include those as well because we love to be praying for you guys. So, Brandon, if you don't have anything else that you'd like to share, I would ask if you could close us in prayer for praying. Um, kind of a bow on, on 2020 and then uh, a blessing on 2021. Yeah, I would, I would love to, I want to start with uh, it's the, the priestly blessing in numbers chapter six uh, verses 24 through 26. And it says this, I'm reading from the common English Bible translation. It says uh, the Lord bless you and protect you. The Lord make his face shine on you and be gracious to you. The Lord lift up, lift up his face to you and grant you peace. And I love that. And I want to say that blessing over all of us who are listening right now, that the Lord bless you and protect you, that the Lord make his face shine on you and be gracious to you, and that the Lord lift up his face to you and grant you peace. I'll pray. Jesus, thank you for uh, this year, a really hard year. Um, incredibly unique year, a year that brought all types of challenges. It sounds kind of silly to say, God, thank you for the year, but Lord, we know that you were with us. We know that you were gracious to us. We know that you uh, were deeply involved in the details of our life, God. And uh, we know that you carried us in this year of 2020. 
Jesus, as we look forward to 2021, God, we pray that you would fill us all anew with hope, with joy, with peace. Um, God, we pray moving into this next year here in just a few days that it would be a year of surprises in a good way. You know, 2020 was a year of surprises in a bad way. Um, we pray that 2020 would be a restorative year, that you would restore the things that were lost, that you would restore things that were broken, uh, that you would reconcile where things need to be reconciled, God, but you would bless us and be gracious to us, God, that it would be um, a life-defining year in 2021. We love you. We thank you for what you're doing in our lives. We thank you uh, for your activity that is in our midst. God, we pray that we would become present to that. We pray that uh, you would give us eyes and ears to see you working um, in our day to day. We love you so much. We pray this in Jesus name. Amen. Amen. If you stuck with us this long through this episode, then you get a sneak peek of what we're going to start the new year with. Um, so when we come back on, I believe it's January 5th is going to yes. be the first Tuesday of the year. We're going to be doing something a little bit different. So um, in November, we released a new small group study that Brandon actually wrote with Brandon Bathauer, who you've heard on this podcast before, called This Is Our Story. And it's an intimate look at Genesis 1 through 4. So what we're going to be doing is, is running the audio from that small group study. Um, it's a really, really cool teaching, and um, I think you guys will really dig it. So um, yeah, we're excited to do that for the first five weeks of the new year, and then we'll be uh, coming back with a. I I think what we've talked about doing is a is a cool series um, going through a couple of books that we've been reading together. Um, I won't I won't say that it's going to be fun. It's going to it'll be fun, be fun though. Yeah. Um, so friends, we hope that you join us again in the new year for this is our story. And, uh, we hope that you have an awesome new year's Eve, start the new year strong. And, uh, we love you. We are praying for you and, uh, we will see you next Tuesday. If you enjoyed this episode, consider giving us a rating or a review on iTunes. If you do, you'll help other people find us in the future. You can also listen to these episodes on YouTube. Just subscribe to the Saddleback Church YouTube channel for these conversations, plus lots of other video content. And if you are already listening to us on YouTube, subscribe to the Doable Discipleship Podcast on Apple Podcasts or your favorite podcasting app so you can listen in the car or wherever else you go. Don't forget to visit saddleback.com slash doable to check out all of our previous episodes and go to saddleback.com slash grow to find spiritual growth resources and view a calendar of upcoming events lastly you can always get in touch with us by emailing maturity at saddleback.com send us your thoughts send us your questions your bible questions your life questions whatever who knows your question might just inspire an upcoming episode thanks again for tuning in to doable discipleship i'm jason whelan and i hope you'll join us again next week